Hey, what's up and welcome to another episode of Uncle Ricky's House. This is a podcast version. You know, will be no video connected with this, so open your ears and get ready while I weave you another tale about guess who? Yeah. The thrice, that's three times, y'all. Indicted president criminally indicted former president of the United States, the 45th president, none other than Donald John Trump. Now, I've, uh, you know, done videos and podcasts about the indictment. I really haven't said much about this one because this one is different. This is the one that Trump is actually visibly shaken by. This is the one that all the Trump supporters, you know, a year and a half ago, two years ago, uh, said that it would never happen. This is the one that Trump, this is what Trump was believing would never happen when he came up with his plan to obstruct the peaceful transfer of power. And in, I guess, uh, immediate short-sighted goals, toppled democracy basically installed himself under martial law as a president slash dictator with the results to be determined, you know, by the states and the courts and, you know, that were already lying in wait with, you know, rigged Republican states, state assembly laws that the people had nothing to do with that were just being forced through to change the voting situation in favor of the minority party. In the states where it was the majority party, it cut the throat, it took the power out of any minority voting so that there was no chance of, you know, minority people actually being represented, you know, whatever happened to that old American slogan, the one that started the country, no taxation without representation. Well, I mean, today, it, no matter what, you know, no matter what your, uh, you know, your political spiel is, your political platform is, no matter what banner you fly high, you kind of maybe probably should feel like you are being underrepresented or not represented at all. And that, that's for whatever your political beliefs are. But like, back to Trump in this indictment. Um, I mean, Trump is is in a, in, a, in a hot spot because his usual tactics that he has used in civil and the uh, legal criminal battles of late don't very much. And, and delay, delay and deflection and intimidation are his part of his main defense. His, his actual legal premise for defense in this uh, January 6th indictment is, you know, everything he did was covered because he was the President of the United States and were covered under his personal First Amendment rights, which many legal experts, even the ones that still like Trump and what Trump was trying to do, have said, that's horse hockey. It, it, it's not going to hold up. And then, you know, they're bringing in uh, individual states are going after the fake electors that were represented in their state. Uh, Michigan, I think they just indicted 16 people as fake electors in, in, in the last presidential election. Uh, Arizona is considering it. Bonnie Willis, her, it's, you know, it's not a 100% thing. It's like 99.9% thing that Trump is, is like number one, you know, uh, I guess, uh, person of interest number one in the indictment that's coming down for election interference because he was the one that tried to interfere, you know, asking Brad Raffensperger to get him to, you know, whatever number that was that he needed, 17,000 or something or something like that, to beat uh, Biden to actually overthrow the will of the people of Georgia. Every, every, every case, every, every, every this whole case is about one Trump lying to uh, the public for, for uh, personal gain, two obstructing, uh, you know, government affairs, three uh, conspiring to uh, 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 overthrow the, 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 
result of free and fair election. Trump is in real trouble because unlike being in Florida, he's in D.C. where he has a different judge. Judge he didn't appoint. Not saying that all Trump appointed judges are crooked or beholding to Trump because that you, you can't say that when you look at how many Trump appointed judges is flatly threw his cases straight out of court when he was trying to establish his election, election interference routine or his, uh, his fake election routine or stop the steal routine, whatever led up to January 6th. Now, the thing is, but in Mar-a-Lago with the, with the documents case, you know, where espionage is on the table and, you know, it, 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 we may have to face the fact that a former president could have allegedly sold uh, sensitive government secrets, uh, you know, State Department documents or military uh, intelligence plans to a foreign government, you know, because like, you know, the, Trump takes the papers, blase, blase, and then, you know, uh, you know, we still haven't explained, and this is, this is just my personal opinion, there's nothing formal or there's nothing official about it. Um, that two billion dollars, even the timing, I mean, even though the timing doesn't line up, the two billion dollars happened before uh, Trump left the, you know, left the White House, but it was just shortly before, and it, it could have been a pre-raised thing, like, okay, give Jared the two billion, now this is all allegedly, give Jared the two billion, as soon as I get out of the White House and get into my bathroom at Mar-a-Lago and pick up the phone, I'm going to send you a copy of this, you might be interested. This is what Mark Milley thinks to, thinks we need to do to uh, defeat Iran. Now, this is all—I mean, this is all just me waxing, you know, uh, being philosophical or whatever you want to say. It's not anything official. It's not anything formal. So don't, you know, don't think you're going to come after me and say, you know, I'm just saying this is just what's running through my rabbit ass mind. But look, um, as far as Trump threatening the judges and the witnesses, I mean, he's done this his entire career but there's a difference between a civil trial and a federal indictment or a state indictment where you are the defendant you are the primary defendant you are the target of the prosecution these are not people going after you where the argument is over money or fulfillment of a contract or breach of promise this is a state or a government looking to put your ass in jail. And one of the things that you don't do that, 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 is, that has been proven very, very uh, bad for the defendant is when a defendant talks shit openly about hurting a judge, a prosecutor, or a juror, or doing things to make the lives of those people miserable. And Donald John Trump has made a living off of doing this. And I say a living because he has he has put so much money in his pocket connected to the grift with the that he's playing, you know, the hurt, the, 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 the picked on individual, the, the, the freedom loving American who is being stomped on by an overbearing tyrannical government that happens to be headed by Joe Biden. Uh Trump is making millions off of everyday people, those very same everyday people that he has already proven 10 times over that he does not give a shit about. Doesn't say much for Trump having a heart, and it doesn't say much for those people having a brain. But that's how life is. But what about the rest of the country? Because it's, that is a proven minority and like in a democracy it has never been where the few run the many it's about the many run everything whatever the the majority opinion is in a democracy that should be the way it is now I mean there there are cases for where People that will never be the majority that are here by whatever reason, whether they migrated or were bought over, you know, their ancestors were bought over on ships, and they will never be, or in the foreseeable future of any of those that are already here, will never be the majority. Perhaps there are, there should be some things to like, 
make the playing field level because even if you are not part of a numerical majority, your voice should be counted. Not maybe perhaps on the individual level, like I say you should do this, you should do that, and it happens, but when your voice goes out and what you're saying agrees with this one and that one, you, maybe you should be heard. And you know, maybe even though you are not a numerical majority, your idea is popular among enough of everybody that it becomes the majority opinion. But nobody will never know unless there's laws in place to ensure that you have the opportunity to say that, that freedom of speech applies to everybody. But then again, what is freedom of speech? And like, it, it appears that, you know, Trump could lie, Trump could, Trump could deceive, but once he profited from it, or once it was done in an attempt to profit, and the profit motive was retaining the White House, then that becomes a crime. And if that is the basis for a crime, Trump is guilty. Well, but right now, it's all alleged because it's we got to do due process, even though Trump wanted to deny due process to so many people because he thought that, you know, just because he said it, it should be. Now, maybe he's thankful that he didn't have his way because now he's in a position where he has to depend on the judgment of the people and the system that he has tried to denigrate for so long. Well, that's it for me. For now, until the next time, as always, God bless and peace out from Uncle Ricky. And look, hey, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And, you know, hit that like button, hit the share button, uh, comment if you feel like it. That's, you know, I ain't gonna lie, I need to add money. And if you really feel like you're gonna help the cause and, you know, you know, give me a boost, go down and look for that, 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 that super thanks, the dollar sign with the thanks beside it. Hit that. You know, use your finger and slide that bar graph to wherever you think, you know, you want to donate to me. And send me a donation. You get a receipt to show that it's all legal. I'm not going to say you can take it off on your taxes because I'm not a charitable organization. But whether you do or don't, if you do, I appreciate it. If you don't, always remember, enjoy Uncle Ricky's house. So until next time, peace out and God bless.